Hi, tarot friends. This is going to be part two of the Muse Tarot flip through. Um, I had to end my video right there, so I'm trying to move through this a little bit at a quick-ish speed. So this is really... I say that, and then I'm going to look up what the book says about the Six of Voices, because I just feel like that's so sort of mysterious. Distance covered in the hands of the muse. Okay, she stands on the edge of her sanity, not knowing how to go any further, but knowing she needs to cross to the other side. Looking up at the heavens, she sends a silent prayer for help and is answered by a lightness that she hasn't felt for so long. The muse of difficult transition lends a helping hand to those who seek solace and passage to new states of being, living, and loving. Sometimes the way across the river is unclear and muddy. In these times, the muse asks us to be open to receive help from wonderfully unexpected places. Trust that serendipity will find you. Look for kind gestures of beauty. And keep seeking the bright waters over tomorrow's horizon. And these roots, as these roots and stir inside, your, as these root and stir inside your soul, you will be moved in the direction of small miracles. Yes, forward she crosses, her passage of silence, lack laughter without mentions, pervasive steeping, inner quiet, helps by kind intentions. So that's really interesting, and kind of one of my first looks at the book, that makes me feel really good about the guidebook. So, that's my comment on the guidebook. Six of Voices. So now we're looking at voices, but I'm going to flip it, because... Um, this does seem to be the majors here, and it seems like it's sort of in a bit of an order. I am just kind of confused because when I filmed before, I was falling asleep, so I really didn't know what I was doing. The magician, and we see the magician is reaching up. Rather than um, up and down, hands both go up, um, and they form sort of a table. But then this this energy is kind of being channeled down into the magician or maybe moving upward from the magician. It's really kind of uncertain on that. The priestess, um, she has her one eye covered, so she gives her that air of mystery um, that the, you know, the priestess should have. She has this beautiful ring that could maybe be a moonstone or... It actually almost looks like a um, sundial. And she's holding something in the shape of a moon, and she has sort of emanations from her hand, which give me a little bit of a Mary, Virgin Mary kind of vibe, especially also that she's wearing blue, and we've got the runes kind of around her head. So she's she's got her symbols there. Empress, I think this might have been the card that made me really want the deck. Underneath her, she just has the universe, and it's so beautiful. And I want that pink hair really badly. The Emperor is a woman, and I think uh, this deck is very female-centered, I guess, which I do like. Not everybody does, but I do. And her dress reminds me of a poppy. Or crushed crepe paper. <laughs> Either one of those. The Hierophant. Definitely a different kind of take on the Hierophant. The six. Of lovers. Oh, they're showing little Dean and Sam. It's so cute. Oh my god, they're so cute. Sorry. So, this card is really beautiful. The lovers. We have sort of this joining of limbs, and we have this beautiful lotus blossoming, and then there's the wings from the angel that we're normally used to seeing. Now we skip to seven of voices. Whoa. That's pretty intense. 
Now we even have a woman with the head of a fox. See, this is just the right amount of weird to really make me happy. Now the whole deck's suddenly upside down. Okay. Yeah, we'll flip it around again. Then we have the Ada Voices. So, if we're looking at the Voices cards, what the coloring scheme for the Voices? This one's yellow, so Voices are air, so I guess we've got airy colors. And then he, the Ada Voices is that trapped feeling. Nine of Voices generally would be those bad dreams. She's kind of lost inside of herself. And we also can see she's sleeping over here. Ten of voices. The coloring on the voices cards are nice and cool. And, you know, I like, I like this. This is just really cool and metallic. Page of voices. Night of Voices. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Little Sam is such a doll. He is not going to let those kids Ooh, bully that other kid. Oh, my heart's just breaking. Night of Voices. This is really gorgeous. Yeah, I like that. We have the the... You know, the winged horse, because it's an air sign, and it's a knight, so, yeah. Oh, this is gorgeous. Queen of voices, so, so queenly. The muse. <laughs> Dodgeball. Ace of materials, so now we've got this sort of earthy color going on and more flowers. Dean's kind of a bully. <laughs> he is a bully gym teacher and Sam is... He looks like he's the janitor. Two materials. Again, we have flowers. Lots of flowers for the materials. Three of materials. The way they're um, together like that is pretty cool. Even though... Um, Her head seems completely detached, so that's a little creepy. Four materials. Five of materials. Okay, this... What was I saying about... I thought something else was the five of pentacles. Man... Sometimes, okay. Oh, okay. So, what was wrong with me? This is the Five of Wands. No, this is not the one that where they're in a church. Five of Wands is where they're fighting each other. And this person seems to be maybe fighting different versions of themselves. Um, I feel like this is kind of about someone who's battling their own inner voices. And I like that take. And it, and it goes well with the idea of muses, right? So, five of materials where she's sort of cast out. Six of materials. Da, okay, now. So, what happens when you try to film when you're half asleep? The chariot. Strength. The hermit. She seems to be kind of praying. 
or seeking inspiration, seeking, seeking knowledge, seeking enlightenment under the tree, right? Like the Buddha. Uh, the wheel, this is a kind of a funky um, 70s vibe of a card, in my opinion. This is the, the phases of the moon, which we have to remember that the wheel does sometimes represent uh, cycles. And phases and things like days and nights and years and weeks and months and things that repeat. And too often I don't think I remember that the wheel has to do with things that repeat and things that go around and around. Justice. That's, this reminds me of, looks like Madonna to me. Um, so this is interesting that she's sort of splitting in half. It's really quite different the hanged muse I like that it's the hanged muse I love the colors on this again the death card with the death head moth we have these two strange that remind me of the statues that would be on top of um or that would be in a cemetery Okay, Dean's making out with some girl. <laughs> and this episode, the girl, or the Dean, young Dean is such a good match. Season 4, episode 13, after school special. And I really want to watch this one a lot closer. Temperance. The Devil. I know I had some thoughts on the devil when I was sleeping, so I'll have to go see those again. We have wings and flames. No, those aren't flames. They're just more sort of butterfly. Here's the tower, which is so interesting. It's just such a different take on the tower. The star is really beautiful. The moon? That's beautiful. This is this moon is everything. I love it. Woo! More bright again. The sun. Lots of patterns and geometry. Awakening. What a wonderful deck this is. I think someone could use this to learn on and would probably really learn some amazing things. The World Cosmos. Ace of Inspiration. Wow. Two of Inspiration. Whoa. Get up. Come on, get up. This is not a good one to have on in the background because it's distracting. Three of inspiration. So cool with all the um, dominoes. The eight of materials. This is so cool and like um, I don't know. It gives me Alice in Wonderland sort of feel. But the materials, again, with all the roses. Nine of materials. It's beautiful. Ten of materials. Page of materials, and this is really also beautiful. And you get that um, collage of roses feeling. Knight of materials, queen of materials. She's a stunner. I do have a special. It is not my 
it's not my card, my like my significator card, but I, I just have a special connection with the Queen of Materials. Just feel really a really special way about her. Here's the Muse of Materials. Wow. Just wow. Two of emotions. Beautiful. Three of emotions. Getting some uh, high priestess kind of vibes. Four of emotions. Love that how they put the two faces that form the cup. So amazing. Five of emotions. So now we're cool and icy. It's a great idea. Great use of the of the suit of the element associated with the suit. Six of emotions. Seven of emotions. Eight. I love this card. That, oh. It just sucks you in. To me, that feels so intense. Nine of emotions. Wow. Ten of emotions. I would, uh, I often call the Ten of Cups the happy and ever after card. Ever after card? I can't talk. Um, but this card doesn't have that cliche happy ever after feeling, but it does have a happy feeling. So I like that. That'll be fun to explore. Page of Emotions. Knight of Emotions. God, that's gorgeous. Queen of Emotions. Amazing. So you and your family killed a werewolf last summer, huh? Muse of Emotions. Why would you write something like this? Huh? Ace of it's Voices. Exactly so. It's really beautiful. I love that. I'm not flunking you. I'm giving you an A. Two of like Voices. Is that really how you describe your family? Yeah. Well, your brother's quite a character. And your father, he seems uh, driven. Anyway, it's good. Three of voices. This is our three of you swords. It's really beautiful. Okay. I have to go into family business. Oh, so Dean, or Sam was interested in being a writer, but then we never see that. He went to law school. So sort of unexplored potential. Do you want to go into family business now? Three of voices. Four voices. Five of voices. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. So that is the deck of the Muse Tarot. I think it's beautiful. It's a good quality. Um, it's a little bit different take, but not too far. And... It looks like an amazing deck to learn on or learn with. So when I say learn on, I mean learning the tarot for the first time or, or you know, beginning your journey and learn with, I mean, continuing your journey because we're constantly on a journey of learning with the tarot. So thank you for joining me for part two of the Muse Tarot. And hopefully we'll see you around for the next tarot or supernatural video depending on what I feel up to doing <laughs> and thank you for joining me be well and have a great day